Bad Movie Chicken is a game invented by Queen Number One fan and myself, the Pokemon Tutor. In it, you put a really bad film on the TV, and the first person to either walk out or fall asleep is the loser. Use it to decide who buys rounds at the bar and stuff like that. The one main rule of Bad Movie Chicken is you're not allowed any other forms of entertainment. So no books, no magazines, no handheld game consoles, just you and the film. The thing is though, we can't agree on which films would be better for this game. So we thought we'd ask for some help. In this video, we would like you to vote in the comments on which one of our nominations would be better for each genre. The nominations are coming up now. Up until 2008, I never thought they could make a good film of the comic book The Incredible Hulk. This film did not prove me wrong. Do you fancy watching a car crash for two and a half hours? Great, then watch this film. Do you fancy watching anything good? Oh well then, don't watch it then. The book was good, but like the first Harry Potter film, the bad acting really let it down. This film was by Nicholas Sparks, so you can tell what's going to happen. Two people are going to fall in love, and someone's going to die, and ten minutes in you won't care about any of that. What you get with this film is the Old Testament with toilet humour and a very bad rip-off of The Life of Brian. See this film if you hate good scripts and good acting. If someone were to ask good things about disaster movie, what would be the simple answer? Nothing. This film is a real bargain because you get three movies in one with this. Just a shame none of them are any good. To give you an idea of just how low on ideas they were for this film, they actually had a montage that consisted entirely of people sending each other emails. A completely shameless rip-off of E.T., this film was all about two children who develop ama amazing psychic powers, all thanks to this soft toy rabbit. Sounds good? Nah, of course it doesn't. What's good about this film? Nothing. What's bad about it? Everything. Yep, that's a simple summary. Wouldn't it be great to set a film in a school where the kids just randomly burst into song and dance for no reason? No, it wouldn't be, but hey, that didn't stop these people. This is a classic example of one of those films where I just thought, ah, well, it's for kids, we don't need to write a script or give it good acting or directing. It really is just terrible. In this film, the acting was worse than the special effects, and believe me, that's saying something. That should be a question mark at the end of the one was not enough on the poster. When you look at a mobile phone, do you think, ooh, that's scary? No, neither do I, but that didn't stop these people trying to make it scary. They failed. When I first saw the poster for this film, I honestly thought it was an April Fool's joke. Oh, how I wish it had been. Come on, it's a film based on those little dolls called brats. Did you honestly think it was going to be any good? Thanks very much for watching, people. If you could vote for whichever film in the chosen category you think is worse, that'd be great. And I bid you farewell.